Victoria's Premier Daniel Andrews has criticised the Morrison government over a lack of national reform agenda. Jessica Maggio is live in Melbourne. Jessica, what has the Premier had to say? Well, Tom, Victoria's Premier Daniel Andrews has really praised states and territories today at his State of the State address for the Economic Forum to say that they are leading the way in reforms and that they are also shaping the way Australians live. They are really... Uh, leading the nation in terms of economic growth, particularly after the pandemic. He claims that uh, uh, states and territories will be the ones to do that heavy lifting for the national uh, federal government, I should say, and that they will be establishing that when they push their Labor agenda ahead of the state election later this year and also the federal election uh, upcoming shortly. So he used this State of the State address as somewhat of an unofficial campaign launch and also somewhat of a bit of a campaign speech for uh, opposition leader Anthony Albanese, claiming that early education, mental health, skills, infrastructure and energy were all reforms that really boost the economy and really needed to be focused on. So he took aim at the Morrison government who has failed to establish a federal reform agenda. Last month, Scott Morrison actually said that there was too much on his plate to be establishing that bold reform agenda. So today the Premier really took aim uh, at that and said that a government needs to be in place at the moment who is willing to push policy agenda and he believes that a Labor, a Labor government is the one to do so. The problem at the moment is that there is no national reform agenda coming out of the national government. That is very real. So, Jess, in terms of uh, big pitch reform, perhaps you'd call it that, Daniel Andrews is saying or calling for an Australian first offshore wind farm target. He certainly is. He said that Victoria has the lowest uh, power prices in five years, but he's ambitiously looking to lower that even further. And the targets that he's pitched, he says, are going to do that with those offshore wind production. That's as coal-fired power is essentially taken off the power grid. What that means is that by 2023, he's looking at two gigawatts of energy production, which is around 20% of the state's energy needs. That would power around 1.5 million homes, then four gigawatts by 2035 and nine gigawatts by 2040. But he said that the transition to cheap renewable energy will only be achieved by states and territories. It's a message from a government with a proven track record of getting things done. And a government not prepared to simply say, well, that's a matter for the feds, when we know they'll do precious little about it. Now, it could be a major new source of supply for the national electricity market, but certainly today's State of the State address was a clear indication that it is a federal and state election year. It is. Uh, that's coming in November. So, uh, <laughs> yes, federal, but it's got some state elections being decided this year as well.